Emmanuel Macron condemned a deadly crackdown by Paris police 60 years ago that killed possibly hundreds of French Algerian protesters. On Saturday, he became the first head of state to take part in the commemorations of the massacre, and tributes continue today. Didier Lallemand also became the first head of the Paris police to take part. He laid a wreath near Saint Michel in a ceremony that Mayor Anne Hidalgo also attended. Luc Trego takes a look back at the tragic events of 1961. In 1954, the National Liberation Army in Algeria launches the War of Independence against French colonialism. In reaction, French Prime Minister Guy Mollet gives full powers to the army. It intervenes rapidly and violently. Officers use torture on Algerian detainees. The entire Algerian question plunges French politics into crisis, ultimately putting an end to the Fourth Republic. Its replacement, the Fifth Republic, begins in 1958 with the arrival of General Charles de Gaulle. He makes a speech in which Algerians perceive signs of flexibility and they turn out demonstrating for independence. They're led by the National Liberation Front, which extends protest actions to mainland France. Algerians, then called French Muslims of Algeria, are placed under an 8 p.m. curfew. On October 17, 1961, they take their chances and head out into the streets. Maurice Papon is Paris's chief of police. Documents and other evidence demonstrate the role he played in the repression and killings of protesters. Some are shot dead by the police. Others drown, thrown into the Seine River. Sixty years later, the French state acknowledges what happened and continues the painful work of examining the darkest corners of its involvement in Algeria. And if you'd like to learn more about this incident, on our website we have an interactive report by Asiya Hamza with witnesses and how historians and activists broke the silence about one of the darkest days in French history. Well, a day after launching